Dalban, since libertarians haven't been calling in, can you do a call out for doorknobs to come on and debate? I, I, I welcome anybody to come in and debate at any time. The phones are open. I mean, not right this moment, but uh, when they're open, uh, we're open. And, and, and if anybody wants to come on and they want to particularly uh, debate, they should I am uh, or I should say uh, tweet at, you know, uh, Matt or, or me and give your area code. We'll pull you out of the line. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows it. Like any any like the the there any of that ilk regardless of who it is when they like they will they will uh, people try and uh, pick a fight and uh, and, and i'm like they are they have open door policy here anybody wants to discuss anything with me but a lot of times uh, it's much easier for people to have a one-sided argument when um yeah where they can lie about the uh, where they can chronology <laughs> they can lie about the chronology they can lie about the argument they can lie about all this stuff and uh, and just have an open field. Like, nobody who thinks that they were right remembers, like, the the dispute Sirota had when he's like, hey, I think we should widen maybe the asks out if we're going to use this. That happened point. with Stoller, too. Right, exactly. And and people act like that stuff never existed. The, the FTV people, Dor and everybody else, didn't want to take yes for an answer. Oh, I, I mean, look, the only time I had any type of, like, real discussion about uh, the 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 actual forced vote there was two occasions one was when uh, like early in december i think it was uh when i said this is a good idea i don't know about the ask to force a vote on medicare for all because it's going to lose yeah and their strategy was this and this is the dumbest thing in the world we're going to figure out who's going to vote against medicare for all now there is you can see who co-sponsored the bill yeah so you can get at least a very good idea you know all 215 or 212 republicans are going to vote against it and you could guess that of the hundred who didn't co-sponsor uh, the bill they're going to be opponents of it too including nancy pelosi for that matter but this whole strategy was to to smoke them out it was to give people ammunition and, in the next primaries. In the primaries. Now... To get better Democrats. To get better Democrats. And, um, I mean, it's a dumb ask. And then, um, you know, and I said, maybe there's better asks. But when, uh, you know, uh, days later, it was clear that the, 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 the squad wasn't going to do that. Um... All the doorknobs made it about how horrible the uh, the, the sellouts uh, the, the squad was, and even subsequent to that, there was at least you know Sirota and I think uh, Stoller were on uh, on with them. There may have been other people because too. generally speaking, most people on the left are in support of using things like that as a point well, of. Well, that's leverage. the whole point yeah. of like <laughs> pushing the Democrats to the left. Right. That's what that means. Exactly. And. Uh, I know, like, Stoller went on a show where it was, um, I can't remember who showed on, but, but uh, you know, uh, uh, Brianna was on that show, and uh, he brought up, like, the idea that Jayapal is organizing this, and they're looking for committee things, and if I remember correctly, uh, 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 Libtar01 it just started yelling at Stoller, and when Stoller suggested there were other smarter things to ask for... And this is before the vote. That's I the think. real split. This was in early January. And it wasn't like Bree at that time said, actually, I think this is a good idea. No. It wasn't until January 20th or whatever, three weeks after the debate, that she's uh, telling me that I should have introduced the idea of leveraging it for something else. Uh, it's Which we were, did from the get-go. From the get-go. But it <laughs> And was there's clear. a YouTube video of, called Jimmy Dore Finally Gets Something Right. Um, Dirk it's does so Jimmy Dore get, I mean, it, they're liars. And they're liars. And, and, and it is, I mean, it, it's unbelievable how much they have. She posted a screenshot of your tweet today. Yeah. Oh, my God. Did she really? Responding to Grimm. Well, I responded to Grimm? No, no, no. She was responding to Grimm because Grimm was like, 
Grim basically said, I don't follow her. I yeah, don't. Uh, Grim, bas- Grim basically said, time. like, Dor is not the person who, who created leverage for political purposes. Like, we got to stop talking about it as if this was the only thing that we could ever use mm-hmm. for political leverage. And she was like, I never said that that was what Force the Vote was for. Yeah, because. And she, and she, but she used your tweet from that point, from tweet after debate, yeah. Jenks tweet, all, and just to be like, be, they were only referring it to she, it Brianna's that. been careful about that with what she's published in Current <laughs> Affairs versus what she was saying on Twitter and sort of uh, tweets she tweeted out and tweet you deleted and then like the emphasis of your like so-called debate like she's lying about that stuff oh yeah i mean she's playing both sides of course i mean she's lying she, about she needs to be more respectable because she knows that what door was doing was indefensible and she needs to differentiate herself from that but she was carrying water for that the entire time oh definitely um i mean i could go in and, and just like um <laughs> show how she sort of like remember when we invited her on and then i'm looking in, at her uh the direct messages right now but i'm not gonna get yeah into this. that was interesting <laughs> yeah that was very and then she was in the uh, chat she's right in the chat later, yeah. Yeah.